Hey guys, today we're gonna do a quick run through of the Osmo Mobile now. A couple of other people have done probably some reviews on this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on the Moon Dog anamorphic lens for the iPhone 6 or 6S. Uh, this is a true anamorphic lens, so you get some crazy video out of your iPhone. And that's kind of why we wanted to look at this thing because uh, the other gimbals out there are designed for the iPhones, but they don't balance the anamorphic lens well from uh, Moon Dog. Uh, because this thing is fairly heavy so this one right here in fact does work and i'm going to show you how it gets set up on there because it's pretty clever so uh, let's break it open take it apart and set it up all right so what we have inside the box here is a case so you don't have to buy this separately um, a very nice case and then we have user manual the entire osmo mobile here for your smartphones and then we also have a battery and unlike the other Osmo um, it doesn't come with a charger well, lanyard here uh, it comes with USB cable and the reason it doesn't come with a charger is because this is used for a smartphone and it doesn't have its own camera the audio port that would normally be an audio port is now your charging port. Uh, you just charge it off there. Now the battery let's, is exactly the same as the other Osmo battery. So if you guys have the original X3 camera, um, your batteries will work with this one as well. So the handles look very, very similar. The difference is that the Osmo Mobile for your smartphones is not detachable from this head unit as the Osmo with the X3 can be detached and you can mount other cameras to this one. So, but the handles look very, very similar. So if you're familiar with the X3, you're gonna be very familiar with this one. It charges via USB and then this plugs into what would normally be the audio port on the X3 and that's how you would charge your device. All right, now balancing the unit is very simple. You have a clamp over here, and this is not a spring-loaded clamp that you'll find in most other smartphone gimbals. This one, you rotate it counterclockwise, and the clamp opens up. You rotate it clockwise, and then it clamps down, and that's it. So there's no springs to deal with. Also, the reason we're able to balance the Moondog lens is on this arm here, you can loosen this, and you can actually extend and contract this arm. And that gives us more weight to the opposite side of our Moondog lens, which most other smartphone gimbals don't have that adjustment on this arm. So let's just get our phone in here. Let's clamp it down. All right, with our regular iPhone in place, you notice that we're able to balance it pretty decently. I probably have to slide my phone out a little bit. So we'll loosen this, slide our phone just out a little bit. And that is uh, fairly balanced without even turning the, the unit on. Let's go ahead and mount the Moondog anamorphic lens. So as you can see, uh, the Moondog lens is extremely heavy. So we're getting too much weight here off to the side. So what we're going to do is loosen this up, slide our phone as far to the right as possible. And then we're going to use this uh, clamp here and extend the arm as far as possible on this end. And then you'll notice that it's able to stay upright. Here it is powered on. So similar to the X3, if we hold the trigger, the camera will not follow. So if I'm not holding the trigger and I point down, the camera will point down. But if I was to hold the trigger and then point down, the camera will remain in that position. Now, um, if, you're, if you need to reset the gimbal, just double tap. So you download the DJI Go app, you sync to the handle via Bluetooth, and you'll have this little icon here on the side that turns blue, and that tells you you're in sync. Um, and that's better than the X3 that required Wi-Fi. This is just Bluetooth. So then once you have Bluetooth, if you were to start and stop uh, video or you want to take a picture, all that's initiated on the handle, and it triggers that item through the software on your phone. So uh, it just works all through Bluetooth. 
Now here off to the side, uh, under this little cap, if we open this up, we do have a quarter thread here where you can attach some other accessory if you wanted to. All right, I'm not gonna get too in depth with the uh, software because again, there's probably a lot of reviews out there. We're more interested in working with the anamorphic lens. Now, there's an app that we use, Filmic Pro, and that allows you to have more control over your exposure settings. Also, it has hardware support for the uh, Moondog anamorphic lens here. And now the Filmic Pro has been updated to work with the Osmo Mobile. So we can actually start and stop video in Filmic Pro once we're connected via uh, Bluetooth. And that's all in the Filmic Pro hardware settings. It tells you uh, both the Moondog lens and the uh, Osmo Mobile. Um, so it gets full support uh, on this system here. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. We're just gonna get a couple of shots uh, with the Osmo Mobile and the Moondog anamorphic lens with our iPhone 6S here. And we'll see how that turns out.
if you guys are looking for iPhone gimbals, obviously there are a lot of choices. Uh, but this one right here, if you guys are using the Moondog anamorphic lens, is probably my suggestion. It does work, it balances really well. The motors are incredibly strong. Um, and it works with Filmic Pro, so you can sync your start and stop video here on the handle. Um, and so it's been great. Uh, for more information about this, I'll have a link below this video or on the blog, cheesycam.com.